Yo, what's up guys, this is Epic Legend. Today I'm going to show you guys how to use Share Factory. And if you guys don't already have this downloaded, you guys can go ahead into the PlayStation Store and download it for free. So what I'm going to be showing you guys is the different things you guys can edit. So you can edit videos, photos, animated GIFs as in memes, live streams, and you can also import content such as videos, music, and images. But for this video, I'll show you guys how to edit video. So I'll go ahead into a new project. And here, ShareFactory gives you an uh, option to choose a theme. So I'll go ahead and use a PlayStation theme. And then here, choose clips. So these clips are in your PlayStation 4 capture gallery. So I'm going to be choosing these two clips and, and add it into my video. So as you can see here, this is the PlayStation 4 theme. This is an intro that it gives you. And then it also gives you this part, the second part of the intro. I will be deleting these intros later on to add my own. So here, as you guys can see, this is my Fortnite clip right here. Just a Fortnite clip here. And I'm going to be showing you guys how to edit. You guys can see these arrows on the corner of the screen, how it shows a plus and a wrench. So X is to add stuff, right? And as you can see here, you can add clip, add screenshot, add track two, add music. Add overlay, filter, layout, and transition. And if I go ahead and click on the wrench, which is a square, it has time bender, split clip, trim clip, move clip, delete, clone, and pan zoom, clip volume, and it has edit and edit music. You notice these most of these are grayed out on the bottom here. That is because we do not have any of these things yet. So now I'm going to be showing you guys the first part of editing and this is time bender. What this does is speeds up your clip. So as you guys can see here, I'm going to be changing the speed to eight times faster. And you guys can see that my whole entire clip was just sped up right here. So I'll go ahead and I'll play this. So this is how much it's sped up. So I'll go ahead and change that back and you guys can change the speed of how you want it. But let's say you guys want only a certain part of the clip to be sped up not the entire thing so what you would do is split that clip and these are options right here in the bottom left corner so when you split the clip what this does is separates the two clips into two parts so when you split that one clip it separated it into two parts and I go I can go ahead and change the time speed and the speed and you guys can see here how it shrink the purple part is shrink because the speed was sped up so I'll go ahead and change this back. You guys can edit this and just mess around with it and do what you guys would like in your video. So I'll go ahead and show you guys split clip. That's the next part. So what split clip does is the same thing as you guys saw before. It splits the clip in two separate parts. So I'll delete this. But let's say I wanted to remove the part where I'm gliding. I just want to show me landing right away, right? I don't want them seeing me gliding for more than 30 seconds so what I'll do is I'll split that clip and so separates it into two parts and then I can delete that other clip and now it shows me landing right away so the next part I want to show you guys is trim clip all this does is allows you guys to edit your beginning and your end you guys can find trim so you guys can omit certain parts of your videos that you guys don't want and the next part is move clip. All this does is enables you guys to move your clips, organize it in a way that you guys would like. So as you guys can see here, I'm moving this clip here to the beginning, the end, the middle. So it just all it really does is allows you guys to change the order of your clips. So the next part is delete clip. That is self-explanatory, so I'll skip over that. And then we got clone clip. As you guys can see here, I cloned these two clips. And you guys see right next to each other, it just shows those two clips in a row of the same thing. So now I'm going to be showing you guys pan and zoom. Pan and zoom allows you guys to zoom in on a certain part of your clip. And I'll go ahead and play this clip so you guys can see it. So now you guys saw how it was zoomed in. So I'll go ahead and change this back. And you guys can change this setting into any way you like. And then next up, we got overlays. We do not have overlays yet. And we do not have music yet, but here's this other option which says click, sorry, clip volume. What this does is allows you to lower the volume on your clip of your Fortnite gameplay. So the next part is the adding. 
So here we have an option to choose clips. So I'll go ahead and choose my intro right here. And I could go ahead and delete the PlayStation 4 intro that it gave me on default. And then move my intro into the beginning. So now you guys can see my intro right here. So now that we got that, now you guys can learn how to add a screenshot. All this does is add a screenshot, right? And you guys can see right here how it just added the screenshot and it just shows a screenshot, not a video clip or anything moving. So you guys can change the amount of time this does show by using split and delete or using uh, the trim function. And the, what that does is just delete a certain part of your clip and you guys can go ahead and make it shorter. So next part is we got add track two. What this does is it allows you guys to add commentary and other things like that. As you guys can see here, it has an option of add clip and record video. And I've never actually used the record video, but I'm guessing that's for the webcam, right? Just so you guys can show your face. But I'll record audio just so you guys can see. Testing, testing, one, two, three. As you guys heard there, that was the commentary just so you guys can see what it sounds like so next part is we got add music so share factory does give you a large option of non copyrighted music so you guys can use in your youtube videos and i have up here imported content but you guys can also import from youtube from whatever but i don't want to use any of these because i might get copyrighted so i'll go ahead and use one of the share factory music options so as you guys can see here here's the music and i'll let you guys listen to it So Share Factory does give you a large option of of editing your music and changing it the way you guys would like. So as you can see here, I'm just deleting half of the music. I am trimming it and making it into us uh, make it shorter and I'll just delete that beginning. And as you can see here, it also gives you options of fade in and fade out. And you guys will see what fade in and fade out does. So I'll just change the duration and I just gonna do delete that part of the music and I'll do fade out and you guys will see what this sounds like so as you guys heard there the fade and fade out just in the beginning it raised the volume gradually and on the fade out it lowered the volume gradually to give you guys a smooth transition so that's how you do music and you guys can also add overlays so what this is is just a bunch of stickers that shift factory uh, gives you so you guys can add your own overlays add your own effects and different things like that and i'll be going over all of these right now so as you guys can see you guys can add arrows you can there's theme stickers imported images which is from your USB that you guys can do and you guys can also add text so I'll show you guys here I'm just gonna add a text here that says this is my video so as you guys can see here, it just shows the text. I could change the duration of how long it's going to be. I could transform, move around my screen, make it bigger, make it smaller. I could tilt it. Basically, almost do anything with this text, and I could also add effects to this text. So I'll show you guys right now. I'll align this right here, and I could change the color. I'll make it blue and text effects. And here, they give you kind of a small option, but... For being free, it's very good. So I can go ahead and change the duration of this text. I can I'll make it shorter right here just to make it last about um, two seconds. And I can also add the text animation. So here's the beginning and sorry the middle animation. So you see how it has a bounce, it has drift, different animations that you guys can choose from. And here's the end animation. I'll choose. Um, I don't know which one's better. I'll choose fly out and in the beginning animation I'll do fly in. 
So now I got these animations in. I'll show you guys what it looks like right here. It only it's real quick. It only lasts two seconds. You guys can change the amount of time you guys want it to be. And I'll show you guys the stickers. So you guys can use stickers here. And I, I, you could see how I put a sponge here from the sticker options. And I can move it on my screen to make it smaller, bigger, whatever. And I'll put it right here on this floor. And then what I'll do is I'll add a sticker animation. Here I just do a middle animation. So it makes it seem like it's cleaning the floor. So I'll use worm right here. So it makes it look like it's cleaning the floor. And then I can choose a beginning animation of how it comes in and I'll also do fade out and I'll show you guys what this looks like so as you guys can see here it looks like it's cleaning the floor with a sponge so you guys can add your own thing own stickers but now I'm gonna go over camera effects so what this does is adds effects on your screen and I'll be going over this so here is gonna be the quake effect and I'll change the duration right here you guys can change it how long it is if how you want and then I'll change the intensity I'll put the intensity all the way up so you guys can see So there is the quake effect right there. It's quite crazy. You guys can change the intensity of how you guys would like it. So next thing I'm going to be going over is the focus. And here it's just one of the other effects. You guys can play around with these effects. Choose which one you guys like the most. So I'll just change the duration. And I'll play this for you guys. And I'll lower the intensity. And you guys can see here what it looks like. So as you can see here, it's just focusing on onto one part of the screen, and it's just zooming in. So the next part is we got filters. So these filters right here, you see there's a black and white filter, different filters that you guys can play around with. So I'll use the black and white one, and you guys can see how this entire clip was just did black and white. But I'll go ahead and delete this. That's why you guys need to use the split clip. So I'll go ahead and edit this um, filter and delete this filter and then I will split this clip so it separates it into two different parts. And now I just have that clip right there with the filter. So as you guys can see here there's this black and white filter over this gameplay right here. So you guys can play around with this it is pretty fun putting photos on these clips so the next part is add a layout so this layout allows you guys to like change the part of this clip you guys will see what it is so i do tupper print as you guys can see here what that clip looks like what that um layout does so you guys can put like a, a little webcam there or whatever you guys want so i'll go ahead and delete this uh layout the next part is transitions. Transition is probably one of the funnest parts of editing in Share Factory. As you guys can see here, it gives you a large option of transitions. And it also has uh, wipes. It has, and also a comic section. So I'll choose explosion here. So as you guys can see here, if I was to try and put a transition here. And let's say I would use... I would go ahead and add a transition here. You guys, a transition is putting a transition between two clips. So you want to transfer one clip and put a transition to another. So I, I, I'll show you guys what it seems like, what it looks like. So you guys saw that. I just put an explosion right there. So the next thing I want to tell you guys is, let's say you guys want to make a montage, right? Let's say you guys want to make a montage, you guys want to put a, a bunch of clips together of you guys just getting a bunch of kills, right? So I'm going to show you guys that right now. I'm going to skip to a part where I'm going to be getting kills, right? Where I, so right there I died. So right here, you see right here how I'm fighting right here. So I'll split this clip right here, split it, and then right after I get that kill, I'll split that. So then, and then we can go ahead and delete the other clips, right? And then I could, I'll just delete everything here. So there you go. So here's this, here's me just getting this elimination.
right? Then I'll, sc I'll split that, and it's one clip of me getting elimination. Now skip to the part where I get another one, and then I'll split it right then and there. And then I'll delete what's in between. So then this is here, okay, how it, that transitions right here after I get that elimination. And then I'll split it again right after I get that other elimination. So what you would do is just do the same process for the other um, clips. Split, delete, split, delete. So I was, I'm, let me just check here if I get elimination. No. Okay. So I'm going to split right here. And then I'll skip again to where I get another elimination. So I'll split that, delete that. So for now, I'm going to show you guys what this looks like. So you guys see here how all those clips I just netted together in, in, a cl in one single line. So th this is a way you guys can make montages and other clips like that. Then you guys can add music, right? Import music from USB from YouTube or even music from the Share Factory. And I hope you guys enjoy this video, guys. Like, subscribe, and see you guys on the next vid.